What's going on guys and welcome back. As you can see, I am back up at Southside Sales and Service and I am with Bruce Senior, as you guys all know. I started wanted to start the video by just saying thank you to all that commented on the last video about what you guys wanted to see in 2022 and all the feedback that you guys did give. It didn't go unseen and I'm pretty sure I got back to 99% of you guys. So thank you. Today in the booth right behind me, we have a 2022 Switch XC Switchback. Sorry about that. And this is something that you guys are not necessarily familiar. It's the first year for these. So this is pretty much an assault, which is the same as what we went over in a couple videos ago. But instead of having Walker Evans all the way around, we have Fox shocks with the three position clicker and we have a standard gauge. So with that being said, Bruce is gonna kind of take over as you guys always you know, know he's going to and uh, give you guys some feedback on these shocks and kind of what the difference is and what the thought process was behind this model compared to, you know, an assault. So with this sled, is similar to the XC 129 or 137 last year that we had, because you had VR1 and 129, 137, and you had XC. It was both uh, Walker Evans shocks, but when you went to XC, you were a half inch rotted shock and an inch and three quarter shock. On a VR1, 129, 137, you had the inch and three quarter, but they were velocity uh, walker. And then when they went to assault, 146, it was two inch bodied shock. So you, uh, so now with this new option, they did the same thing. They basically, other than the point of Fox coming into play in any XC model, you still have half inch rod. And now rather than having multi-clicks, um, you know, 16, 18 clicks, now you're three. So with um, with like Jesse's shocks that he had that were two inch bodied, they still had the QS3, which with that setup, your valving is what it is on one, it's 20% stiffer on two, and it's 80% stiffer on three. So it is a huge difference when you go through that. Yeah. Works out really well if you had a either a heavy rider or a two up seat that you wanted to throw on this and you bump the, you bump the springs up to one, two, three. But when you go to a, the third notch, you'll gain super. Right. So why don't we, sh why don't we show everyone like you kneeling on the front? Cause I can't do it while I'm videoing, you know, kind of what the front of the sled does on, you know, setting one and two. Yeah, this is, this is one. So it's, it's a good fluid feel, you know, a uh, hundred pound springs. Cause this is, you know, on a 146, it's 100 pound. If you go to two, you have, it is, it's just a, that 20% stiffer for anti-bottoming and it, you can feel it. And then when you go to three, it's just a matter, it literally stops. I mean, it it is, you know, there is a lot of resistance. They close that orifice hole right up inside of this so that that won't flow the oil. Sort of like what we talked about in the shock video, when this is going through its travel, it's pushing oil into this can, and this is your resistor, well, that closes off really, really tight to make that happen, to make it that tight. <clears throat> so, um, and you have it all the way around. So you have it in front track shock, and you have it in the rear track shock. Both of those shocks are inch and three quarter also, whereas on an Assault, this would be two inch, and it would be two inch front track, but still inch and three quarter rear, for whatever reason, they stayed inch and three quarter on an assault, even with the walker velocity. Um, valving is, is plenty stiff though. So with that being said, you know, again, going back to 129, 137, this year's stuff, you're gonna have these shocks on that XC also, no matter, no matter the length. Yeah, if it's an XC, it has these Fox on it, three position clicker. Yeah. Like I said, and you do have them, like Bruce said, in the rear as well. Uh, it's kind of dark down here. I don't know if I could get... Yeah. yeah. Can't get a good picture of them. So yeah. in your... Yeah, on this here, you're dealing with... Uh, where that is on this is a very tough spot for the for the three position. It's it, Here's your can. It's literally at the front. Um this is a is a pre-production model that's why we have this 22 um, and 
you know, here's your three position clicker on the front track right here. I almost think, because when I rode out west with Levi on this basically exact sled, we were complaining about that. I almost think they said they were moving that clicker to the bottom right? so that we could get at it. But I haven't, as a dealer, I haven't got one to even prove it. Right. So. Yeah. So this pre, this is pre pre production. We were talking about it, and I think on the the twenty twenty one production models, the body of this shock is black. I think it's all black. That's what we were just talking about before we started the video. But in your XC, you don't get all the color options that you would get in your Assault, like with the other video that we did. There is a limited color selection, and there's a limited track selection too. In the XC, you're only getting two different tracks potentially, which is a 1.35 Cobra and then a 1.6 Cobra. Uh, the Assault, you got those in addition to, you had a 2-inch, and then you had a 1.5 Ice Storm, yeah. But other than that, it, it is an identical sled to the Assault that we, you know, kind of went through in detail. The rear suspension is exactly the same. The rails are the same. You still have your tipped rails in the rear. Yeah. Where your rear track shock locates just like we talked about in the last one that all mounts in the same spot so it is the same exact bones just a little bit different skin as far as the rear suspension the only other thing that changes between assault and xc is this is three wheel three rear wheels assault has four rear wheels we've been using a three wheel setup for quite a while on different models through the years and then the other thing is is usually have that rail stiffener that's mounted right here because of this stretch here that has uh, gives it a little bit more strength. An XE does not have that, whereas Assault has that rail stiffener. So combine that with just the other, as far as um, your ergonomics here, all this stuff stayed the same, but you do have a standard gauge option. Yes, you can put a 7S on it, but this is the gauge that comes on an XE. Right. So, and I believe there was an option to choose a 7S, even if you got an XC, to my understanding. For snow check, probably. Nope. No, XCR there was, but not on XC. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So your dealer could, in fact, put one on if you wanted to. Yep. For, obviously, an extra additional price, but that is what kind of came on these. I'm also coming to learn that the Assaults this year are the only ones with the taller riser. Mm -hmm. which we were under the impression the XCR came with the same riser that this did. Right. But I have actually been proven wrong on that. Yeah, yeah, the XCR is the same as a VR1. Yes, mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah, it's about an inch more on this. Yes. On 146. Yeah. yeah. But that's really it. So, I mean, you still have an awesome unit. It's an incredible, and I don't want to call it an entry level because it's not an entry level. You know, you're getting an awesome sled. Fantastic, you know, shocks. I'm... For one, you guys know this, a big Fox shock guy. That's what, you know, I've been hanging on to those front shocks for how long now? Three or four years? Yeah, I think so. And I, for, I refuse to get rid of them. Yeah, so much so that you broke them a couple of times. And you're still <laughs> changing them, getting them, making them work again. Yeah, one, mm -hmm. once or twice we've broken them. But, no, incredible sled. And, I mean, again, it's the same, same bones as your Assault. It's just a little bit different skin, a little bit different options, uh, a little bit more affordable is really kind of what they were going for here. But... I hope that kind of gives you a good you know, overview on what the XC is and, and what that model is. And if all goes well, some dealers should have these for sale that aren't pre-ordered. Mm -hmm. Yeah. If. We'll see. But uh, that's really it. I think that's kind of all we got to touch on on these, right? That's it. Yeah, it's a pretty similar snowmobile. Just a little bit of... Again, just enough to drop the price the price a little bit, yep. a little more affordable. So I'm actually excited to get on these and see what these foxes feel like if we ever get one in um, that I can, you know, grab and try out because I think they're going to be pretty good. I think everyone's going to like them. Yeah. But that's going to do it for the review of the XC Switchback. You guys have any questions, always, you know, put them in the comments. I will get back to you guys as always. But make sure to like, make sure to subscribe, and we'll see you guys in the next one.